And hello from a special place in the football world. We're at St James's Park here in Newcastle upon Tyne. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Lee Dixon. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Newcastle United taking on Chelsea. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man. Lee, what are you anticipating seeing from him? Well, how do you stop him? Four goals in three games. I suggest the defenders, not just one of them. Twos and threes might be the case. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. 4-4-2, but not necessarily a conventional one. They're yeah, more likely to be a 4-4-1-1, Derek, and that second striker given the freedom to roam anywhere he wants on the pitch. Thank you, St. James. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. If you like wingers, you'll love this league. Yeah, absolutely. I love to watch a winger play, especially with pace and power. The central striker will stay more or less in front of the goal. The support will be provided by the three central midfield players. The back four is pretty conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. And Santi Mina with it. Ikone. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Real danger. Santimina! Not even close in the end, Lee. Well, he's had a go, Derek. He's gone for power, but the accuracy... Shoulder, then all of a sudden the referee's there with a the yellow card. Madison with it. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. And showing fine vision. And it is the opening goal of the contest. Well, it was always going to be a tight game, but now all of a sudden one team ahead. Things have got to change on both sides. Top marks, finishing at his best. Lovely through ball as well. The timing was perfect. Excellent finish. Well, let's have another view of that goal. One nil then. Way by Chelsea. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserved. Well, they say there's no better time to score just before half-time. The team talk of both sides are going to be changing now. It's a good finish, Derek, and they deserve the lead. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. Well, a second goal for them here. The referee has, the referee has decided that two additional minutes, two minutes are in order. Time. The ball with Junior Firpo here. And Golo Conte. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. 
And there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Lee. Yeah, he's carved out plenty of shooting opportunities, hasn't he? Testing the keeper on numerous occasions. Great performance up to now and rewarded with a goal. Counter-attack came to nothing. Newcastle have hardly had the ball. Beautifully weighted ball. Good-looking ball. There could be a chance now. It really is such a free-scoring performance. Just nothing the defenders can do about it, seemingly. Well, it's good play. Ian Wright always told me, stand in the middle of the goal. It sounds simple, but you don't have to get a lot of goals from that position. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, it's turning into a real shocker. This is the very reason, Derek, I'm not a manager. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. Well, he just let his opponent glide by. Fine block. Thorough thrashing, Lee. Well, the team mark for Chelsea out of ten? Five. Really not good enough at all. Disjointed performance, no cohesion. Has a go. Goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. I cannot believe he... Kept that out the net. Absolutely amazing. Played into the center of the box. Sorensen. He continues his run. A very high degree of difficulty for any goalkeeper. Sheer quality. Quality of the shot and certainly quality of the save. And now the delivery. Not messing around with that clearance. He has time to play it over. Speculative ball fired to the near post. Oh, what an incredible save. Well, I thought he was in, Derek. I'm sure he did too. He got a lot of power behind it. And he's fired over the corner. Well, a sloppy clear. Is it going to be? Well, it's a procession of goals. And surely there's no way they can let this slip now. Absolutely dominant. Here's the replay, and I can see why the keeper's a little frustrated. He thought he got enough on that to keep it out, but it's just come past him, and he's unlucky, really. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room, if it stays like this, Derek, he's not happy. Just look at him. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And there it is, the final whistle. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positively, well, he played well, scored a goal. What a good performance from him.
Time for just a few questions. Thanks, that's all the questions we have for you. This is Molyneux in Wolverhampton, in the black country, as they call it in the UK, the home of Wolverhampton Wanderers. I'm Martin Tyler, he's Alan Smith alongside me. Premier League football is coming right up for you. It's Wolverhampton Wanderers against Newcastle United. Yeah, thanks, Martin. I think both teams here are going to be positive. They are set up to attack, so I'm expecting a few goals here today. I don't want to put the mockers on, but I am expecting a few. He's won, I know Alan's keeping an eye on here. There haven't been many defenders this season that have been able to get the better of him, certainly in front of goal, and he's on course to break that goal-scoring record. And here is the way Wolves are set out for this vital fixture. What we've got here, Alan, is a side that don't concede many goals, and perhaps they don't score enough, that's down to the overall philosophy of the coach yeah they don't uh, commit too many men forward they work incredibly hard i know on the training ground in the week on organization who's where at any given time and it does work newcastle united's lineup it does look more like 4-4-1-1 than 4-4-2 yes i think so i mean it gives the manager the option of stiffening his midfield and when they get the ball, you know, that number 10, if that's what you want to call him, behind the centre-forward, he can supply the bullets, he can get in the box and give his 
teammates some company. Thank you. Enjoy the game. First half has begun here. Feel. And that is reflected in their position in the league table. And they will be... Can put them in front here. Not really tested the goalkeeper, but sometimes it can look a bit too easy. He made sure he made the save confidently. Yeah, he did, and he doesn't make too many mistakes, this lad. Well, they're better than that. That's rather sloppy. ended up in the back of the net quite high up too yeah i'm not sure whether we actually meant it just to go under the bar maybe we'll find out afterwards nothing the manager can do at the moment his team have lost momentum and they're also losing this match Wolverhampton Wanderers have this lead. Here's the yacht. Difficult for the defender against the player who wants to take him on like this. Patiently passing off the post. James Madison. Well, now they can attack, and he's got support with it. And a goal from Newcastle United. So often you see players go for power. Just try and put the laces through it. Not this, lad. Let's see the replay now. Well, you can't blame him. The manager is delighted with the character his team has shown to get back into this game. So, away we go at one all. It's good work here in terms of possession. Can they find the final pass? It's a good piece of defending to stop the supply into the centre. Gaetan Laborde. Out of play for a throw. Labour. Some players arriving in the middle now. And turned away by the goalkeeper spectacularly. And that's gone out for a corner, clear cut, and an opportunity now, maybe. In goes the corner. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Wants to have a go. What a fine save. Their corner. Corner's taken. Well, amazingly, the defender's got time to get the ball down and clear it from the corner. Area. Here's the chance to get in the cross. Wants to chop back and play it to a teammate. James. And shoots! Saved, but not decisively. No nonsense defending, it was needed. Frankie de Jong. Let's fly! Not really tested to the full, the keeper that time. Yeah, I think he saw it coming all the way, Martin. He's put in the corner. It was a promising situation. They could have made more of that. Has to be! It looked as certain. And that's the half-time whistle from the referee. 1-1 at the break.
Alan, what's gone wrong with him? He looks off the pace. Well, he's got into good positions, but I don't know whether his confidence is low. He's had some opportunities to test the keeper, maybe put his team ahead, but it hasn't happened. Well, this could be a chance from the ball played over the top. In towards the near post. Out in front of goal. Strong piece of defending and clearing. Being pressed in a defensive area. Good interception there. Bit of a desperate lunge, that. And he's going to get booked for it, I think. Well, that's late. He's going to have to get booked for that, I'm sure. Yeah, a silly challenge. And, uh, you know... If He ends up getting sent off. He's only got himself to blame. Well, this will be interesting. Changes now for both teams. And uh, he did well to stop that. It's going to be a substitution here for the home side. It's a good hit. Got to it and made the save comfortably. Yeah, he would have got some stick if that had found the net. Corner played in. Oh, it's a tremendous goal. They've scored from the restart. It's all about the delivery that uh, led to this goal. Right on the spot, that corner was. Oh, the keeper had virtually no time to react to that deflection. A good look here, again, by the replay of the goal. Well, Wolves need to find some fight because they're behind. Number six, Jamal LaSalle. Attacking now. Maybe he'll cross it here. Volley's for goal. The defenders managed to get in the way there. Put the corner in the middle. It's a brave effort, really, in amongst the players to get the header in, but... Off Target, way off target. Yeah, not his best effort, that's for sure. Steered through. Can he shoot? Can't hang onto it, the keeper. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Time is against them, but they're still having a real go. Chance from the pass. That did look like a real opening, but they've dealt with it. Saw the direction of the pass. There is the final whistle. The manager will be very proud of this result and the way they achieved it with the blend of decent defending but really high quality attacking. Yeah, I mean, it was swashbuckling at times, wasn't it? The way they poured forward and the opposition just couldn't handle them. Just a moment of your time.
Yeah, no further questions, thanks. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, we'll take some questions now. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for attending and um, we apologise if you were unable to get your question in. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. We have all the action for you live on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the northeast of England. We're here at St. James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me here on the commentary box for complete coverage is Lee Dixon.
and we've got Champions League group stage action to look forward to this evening. It's Newcastle United taking on Real Madrid. Yeah, Derek, thanks. You can't really go on and win tournaments unless you're consistent in the group stages. Very important you don't drop points. Looking forward to this one. Newcastle United. 4-4-2, but not necessarily a conventional one. Yeah, more likely to be a 4-4-1-1, Derek, and that second striker given the freedom to roam anywhere he wants on the pitch. for the opposition and this Champions League group stage contest commences for this one he's lost it and decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into he cuts it back if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley and that as well they haven't really utilized the wide areas for me but they should go on and win the game to be honest and teammate must score it's still alive Vinicius Junior a bit sloppy in possession and the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time two minutes Lorenzo Insigne, Danny Olmo. That is that for the first half here. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was playing better. Ball has its own special atmosphere for me. Mistakes can be really costly. Can't wait for that one. Teo Hernandez now. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Will it be? And a marvellous save. Well, his reflex is there, absolutely spot on. That's why they work so hard in training goalkeepers to pull saves off like that. And he's fired over the corner. And the shot decidedly lacking. Well, he had other options. Ndombele. Amiri with it. Nothing wrong with that idea. Insigne. Can they take the lead? The opening goal. Due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Well, as we can see, the keeper's done his best, but there's nothing he can do from there. He's not going to miss that one. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, all the hard work has paid off, but the manager knows a lot more has to be done to secure this game.
Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. And the match back in business. Real Madrid with the advantage. Throw-ins given. Substitution time it is. It needs an accurate cross. It has to be! And a pretty straightforward... Vinicius Junior. Now they've lost it. Good visualisation and execution. And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, here it is again, Derek. The way to the pass is excellent and the finish, clinical. Lovely play. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Steven won a piece in this match. Given away by Real Madrid. Because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Schalke game. Alan? It's a second goal for Schalke. 77. minutes played 2-0 cheers again Alan both substitutes who've been getting ready will come on at the same time Brandt with it and now Amiri quick thinking to dispossess his opponent and victory beckons and the goalkeeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Ndombele. Wonderful chance. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. Just a couple of minutes left for play. They might be able to get in now. Well, the home fans are doing their best to try and urge the players on to get this winner. Will he come? Looks promising, this. And putting his body on the line. This forthcoming corner might just do it. Could be the last chance to hit the front in the dying moments. And firing it into the area. Not all that convincing defensively. You never really know, Lee, if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion. Yeah, hero to zero. When he struck that, you think, wow, and then all of a sudden you realise where it's gone. So this group stage confrontation is over. And in the end, the sides couldn't be separated. They've shared the points. Well, regardless of the score, Derek, a draw tonight. You want a game to go on forever. That was the case tonight. 90 minutes was too short. What a football match. And I think it's accurate to say, Lee, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, that was an important equalising goal in a game with not that many chances. But he put that one away perfectly well. Time for just a few questions.
thanks so much for your time. That's all the questions we have for you.